Now, Saeed Mohamed uh, Mirandi, who is a professor of English at Tehran University, joins us now. Professor, good evening. How can we be sure that these figures have any, re you know, any reality whatsoever? Well, actually, if you go and look at the Lancet Medical Journal... We don't. Well, you know, people laugh at the Lancet now. Well, it's you can laugh There's all you want. But uh, in that journal, an article was written where it said, actually, if uh, it is quite plausible, and this was on July the 20th... Hang on, we'll try it. You said quite plausible. I'd like to know why we don't say how many of the people killed are the terrorists and the supporters mm. of Hamas, mm. and how many are innocent people who sadly do get... Uh, caught up in uh, in wars. You know, this war would never have happened if it hadn't been for the terrorists committing genocide. You mean the terrorists, the Israeli regime, right? The regime Are you being completely created? annoying, sir? I want to have a serious discussion about this. I'm not letting you on here to promote terrorism. So if you want to have a terror, if you want to have a serious discussion, I don't we care have why it. you invited me. If I'm on the program, I will say what I want to say. And I will not be. Well, you can answer the questions. Answer the questions. You haven't, you haven't you, allowed. You actually no. What you just said was people. very, very appalling. You are afraid. Not of you. You are afraid of the truth. You are afraid. What is of the, the truth? Tell me the truth. truth. People That's like you are complicit in genocide because from day one you were supporting the Israeli regime's slaughter. Tell me the truth then. What should Israel do then in response to what The truth is not shown on British television. The truth, if you look on social media, on accounts like uh, Sarah Wilkinson. Yes. Sarah Wilkinson was arrested recently by your police. She's a Palestinian <clears throat> activist. Yep. 12 police officers went into, raided her house and took her and arrested her. Why? Because she was uh, a pro-Palestinian activist exposing the reality. Or, for example, Richard Medhurst, who is a journalist. Well, we and, don't know about these cases. Well, I'll tell you what well, we'll exactly do. Exactly, because I'll your media see. says nothing well, about What should that. Israel's response have been on October the 7th? Just do nothing, then. What should I have done? Re the Israeli regime should end apartheid. So they should it have just done nothing in response to October the 7th? Just sat there and... The problem began far before October what the 7th. What should they have done, yes. though, in response to October the 7th? Try and answer they that. Should, you can't, can you? Should, You're scared. They should end apartheid. They should end... You can't answer it. Supremacism. Well, that's because you support apartheid. What that's should Israel have done after racism. October the 7th? That's because you support colonialism. The solution is for Palestinians to be treated as equal human beings. I have a serious... Well, most quiet, of Israel's no, indigenous quiet, population quiet, from the Middle East. Answer me this... Just be quiet. Answer me this question. We have poured, when I say we, the world, has poured enormous quantities of money... Stop smiling, this is serious. Quantities of money into Gaza. Gaza could have become the, the Dubai of, uh, of that mm. part of the world, had they used the money sensibly, they didn't. The Hamas guys are billionaires. What do you say about them, the three leaders, being one of them dead now, being billionaires? What do you say about that? The money that you've been pouring into, cash, taxpayer money, yes. has been billions of dollars <clears throat> to the Israeli regime. Well, how did you Hamas go? Your, your government has been helping carry out the genocide. And it's healthy. Can you, it's, it's not genocide. Could you just once, before I get really fed up, tell me that you don't think that the 7th of October attack on a village and a pop concert where people were killed for no reason, they weren't fighting, they were innocent people, they were just gunned down, then they were, you know, they were taken as hostages, they've been mutilated, they've been raped, they've been filmed. You, you think that is a perfectly acceptable thing to do, do you? No, first of all, there's no evidence that anyone was raped. That's a lie to yeah, justify the is, yeah. rape that the Israeli regime is... The Thank Israeli you. This uh, interview has now been terminated and I don't Good. care who cares. Goodbye. Sure. Bye. Smiling Get idiot. Because, quite frankly, I am not. I th I'm trying to get a serious discussion going about what's happening in Gaza. It is, in a way, a small conflict as far as the world is concerned. But social media is turning it in to one of the biggest 
mm. hate fests ever, which is because people are stupid. A lot of people are stupid. You see the ones marching through the streets of this country shouting death to Jews mm. from the river to the sea. From yeah. you know, They the don't anti, even hide it anymore, do they? The anti-Semitism in this country. I'm not... Listen, I don't like religion. You know, I don't like those people who are, you know, Jewish, religious... Islamic religious, Christian religious, all of them who think they know better and they believe in what I consider to be a fictitious being. And they are... That's why we are in so much trouble. It's religious propaganda that is getting there. At the moment, the Islamic propaganda is winning, but it could quite easily be Christian, it could be Jewish, you know, it depends it's on tribal. the time. It's tribal, it'll be whatever, it might it's not tribal. even be religion. Yeah. Yeah, humans tribal. do that. I mean, th this is appalling. Whenever we talk to somebody, 89, uh, 94,000 um, injured, 40,000 700 killed, apparently, according, according to the Hamas run health. But ministry. nobody is prepared to talk sensibly about it. People either. But even that's a low figure, a ratio. It's, it's for urban warfare, because it's because I never mentioned how many terrorists. Israel say about 20,000, so it's about one to one, which in urban warfare the average is about five, six to one. So, but I don't, I don't, I don't want to see anybody killed. I want to well, see. Of course, the whole not to Israel. Stop it's all on Hamas. All of this is on Hamas. Hamas could I? stop tomorrow, and there yeah. will be no trouble. You know, luckily, they've come to their senses really both sides of the moment about polio vaccinations, because that could wipe out the whole area. You know, this is just stupid. And unless Hamas actually surrender, which they don't seem to do, because they want to continue to be in control of a Palestinian state. And the Palestinian people, the majority of Palestinian people, want to be left in peace, and I would like them to be left in peace. Yet you get people like that professor... Who are just stirring? I mean, it they're supporting up. the subjugation of the Gazans. Can we um, find, by the way, guys? Can we find maybe for next week's show those two people that he mentioned? Because I've not heard of them. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. And and the lady Palestinian. Because as far as I'm yeah. concerned, I don't miss much news, but I've not heard yeah. of them.